Good morning, soul family, and welcome. I'm going to do the weekend read today for the 5th, 6th, and 7th of November, the first weekend in November, we'll say. These are the clipped art deck, which I haven't really used much, so I figured, like, for me, this is exciting. I've already shuffled quite a bit before we started and used this deck only once before to do a reading. I've used it in some personal readings. Uh, it just uh, kind of can confuse me. It's so evocative. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be hard for me to be succinct. So let me roll along. I'm going to do Aries through Pisces uh, today for this old family. Uh, hopefully uh, everyone has kind of been watching will get to this. And you just try to keep one, each one at like three minutes, okay? Um, forgive the little hammering uh, here at the Urban uh, Jungle Studio of Dave Scottero <laughs> in Mikasa. Um, but otherwise, it's a beautiful day. It's been a little chilly. Had to put on long pants this morning. Yeah, it was a little chilly and a little cold. I went down to like 70, I think, early morning. So, Aries, let's roll along. We're looking at you here with this Queen of Swords energy, Aries. So you ain't playing. You know, we are riding the uh, Scorpio New Moon. You look look at how she's looking. She's got a big sword, too. You can see that well. And um, kind of looking back. So, you know, uh, I tend to do this one more individually as a spiritual read, you know. Um, but this is someone looking very clearly a lot of truth a lot of clarity like you could say razor clarity like this is like neon lights you know lighting up you know scorpios all the hidden stuff the shadow stuff and this is like i see an aries it's just looking right at it cutting right through it and being very strong about it you know here Maybe feeling a need to communicate it. If not now, it's like it's. I feel like that's going to rise up with you, Aries, to communicate what this is, um, what you see. You know, it's something that reminds me of that meme. Uh, one I like is like, I'm sick and tired of things not killing me and making me stronger. But this is a world of things not killing you, Aries, but making you stronger. And you see it. You see it. And you thought like it was bad. It was dark. It was all the... No, it was actually what created you. Life, I think, carves away at us. No, we're God. And we become a more perfect thing. Ah, that's you. <laughs> now, Five of Cups. Interesting energy. Quite a card. Um, the Clip Dark Deck, different. I say there's a lot there. It's, it's so evocative here. But coming with this... Um, I think coming with this, you could say this is the energy of right now. Uh, this could be a little bit in the past energy, what you've been going through. Maybe what this moon means to you energetically, emotionally. And here's the cups, emotions. And it's a little hard to take, though. It's like you're only human. You really look at everything so raw. And you look at your own uh, shadow and darkness, which we all have. And you look at it really and truly look at it and kind of accept it, accept responsibility. Um... It's quite a feat uh, here. And we do have a queen. So someone that's very strong. Queen of Swords. Very strong. Uh, all about the truth. It's like this, this sword will come down for the truth every time with the Queen of Swords. But it's not easy. It takes you to your knees. You know, a lot of cards is the soldier on his knees. Uh, and you look around this uh, aftermath of... Uh, um, battle but it's five you know you're gonna get up now and you have the four of wands now just look at this four of wands how beautiful it's almost like I don't want to touch it so beautiful as just a work of art and I always say with Tara like what it how does it make you feel and this is the future here you know, I, the, I gotta say, the Scorpio New Moon, to me, it's on my Venus. Um, you know, it, if there's any relationship involved in the way this reading is perfect for this reading, you, it will be in the very perfect position, Aries, for love, for being vulnerable, for being emotionally open. It's like 
you you've seen the worst so now um, you're good what else like what else can you show me universe huh? all right Aries thank you Taurus welcome doing a read through uh, for all signs uh, this is the soul family read Taurus for the week in fifth six and seventh uh, manifestation spirituality and pull three cards here put a little energy on it uh, also on uh, Fridays is Sag and because uh, I do two signs every day Sag and Cap day so I'll have the heart spread for Sagittarius and Cap for mid-November and uh, also the singles read meet the soulmate so uh, if you fall in either one of those categories which is a uh, heart spread just whoever you're thinking of is on your mind your heart the singles reads like if you're wide open what's your person like um, but Taurus is out, uh, always on Mondays, uh, Aries and Taurus Day. So your mid-November's up, check it out. Thank you guys. Let's see what we got here for Taurus. Wow, the Herophant. Clip Dark deck we're using here, it's a little different. It's pretty rich, pretty evocative, this deck, I think. Um... Guys, this could be you, you know, you're showing up in your own reading, it's Taurus uh, here, doing past, present, and future, it's one of the most natural readings, because it's how we experience the 5D, I mean the 3D, past, present, and future, the things we can knock on, the hair band is about all the things they can knock on mainly, you know, um, so when you're showing up in this position, it's like you're doing you, you're being yourself. I mean, there's just nothing better. So how does that translate well into strength? Holy shit. And you could think Leo in your chart. Where's Leo? Where's your fifth house? Taurus, think about astrology and astrologer too. Could be something significant going on there. Uh, it could be something square your sun in Taurus, okay? Um, in your natal uh, transits going on along these lines that are hitting you um, but this is all good guys um, this is you know when you're in your power you're in your power I mean hair pine, you're in your power um, and then now strength and this is not really advice here I just read this where you're at so this if this is the energy you're in um, this is the time to go for it I mean, um, this is a trajectory. Um, this is a this is a, a fire for you too with strength here. You know the rap on Taurus. You know, well, you, you don't want to go for it. You want to go to second house. You want to uh, go always go with conservative with stability. Um, and this is you like just growing in strength and getting ready to do something. But one thing about fixed signs and fixed earth, once Taurus decides to do something, bull. You can't stop like once they get coming that's a couple thousand pounds of pounding muscle and bone and it's coming at you and it, it's hard it's like a train do it's like hard to stop once it gets going well slow to get it going but once it gets going and you're i mean kind of can do whatever you want here i might get out of this guys you have the ace of swords the um six of swords Looking at this myself, this deck is fairly new for me. Six of Swords. So what you need your strength for, this is like a Taurus nightmare. You need to go on a journey with nothing but yourself. And this is something to do with your mind, the Six of Wands. Look at it. This is something heavy. But this is something where you could go on a, a retreat. Or I don't know what uh, Zen meditation or spiritual growth something or a walkabout or something uh, something intense I mean this could be eating like I did five grams of uh, magic mushrooms and breaking through everything uh, this is in the mind um, and it, but you see this person here uh, there I keep this is a big theme check out this old family read going back a few weeks and uh, see if it resonates they're short but, it, but I'm really, it's not about a day, it's about a process, you know. But there's this taking the helm. I mean, it's kind of like not taking the helm, like you might think of a big ship and, you know, and a big, uh, no, this is, but this is very personally 
taking the helm. So it makes it very personal energy, which Mine Arcana is anyway. And here you're writing uh, towards this major Arcana. Again, there's something going on in your chart here with your transits. Uh, Uranus at 12. God knows what that's that's on your sun. I mean, whoop, whoop. That's like uh, uh, Charlie uh, from Always Sunny in Philadelphia when he cuts the brakes and says, Wild card, bitches. Uranus on sun. Congratulations. Good way to look at that. Anything's possible. But here it's like taking the helm in the future and dealing with this. Like, this is going where you need to go. It's nothing bad. But it is an adventure. It is it requires some strength. Guys, so Taurus, thank you guys. Um, do let me know what you think of this. Appreciate it, guys. Um, and then uh, Gemini's, welcome. A soul family read for the weekend here, the 5th and um, of November, 5th, 6th, and 7th, we'll call. I just want to do the weekend read. I'm reading through the signs, so Gemini now. And this uh, manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship try to focus more on um, here um, you know ourselves we'll say not so much on the others now uh, this being Friday it's Sag and Cap day so we got the heart spreads uh, for who's on your mind for Sag and Cap as always on Friday and we do signs every day every sign every week uh, and um, the singles read meet the soulmate too and this uh, reading can go back, uh, if you look at the soul family reading, it's not, I put it up by day as a daily read, but it's a process, I can go back to any of those reads, I got them in the um, video library under soul family reads, so you can go back and check them out if you relate, and here we're just going to get a beat on the weekend where you're at personally, Gemini's. Thank you guys. Welcome to the Urban Studio. <laughs> uh, I love it here. Okay, King of Swords. Wow, we had the Queen of Swords a minute ago. So, King of Swords, uh, this is you. This is a little bit into the past, this reading. We're doing a little bit different for me, just simple past, present, future. Um, and you're looking right to the present, uh, this King. And you know, king's got a big sword. And it's very much like I said about the queen. Uh, the only bit stronger, there can be more ego with the king of swords here, Gemini. Um, this is a Gemini, and often this comes in a relationship reading. And this is, like I say, trying to open it up more just about us. But, you know, in your relationships with others in general, with work, with family, with friends, with lovers, um, you know, uh, learning to be really assertive and strong and to set strong boundaries. Um, like I was in ACOA for decades, uh, adult children of alcoholics, and, you know, it was a really hard concept for me to grasp that, you know, I can just say no, and I don't have to really explain myself. I could just say, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Um, and this King of Swords would not have any problem be like, uh, no, no, uh, no. I mean, you're good at... This is someone you're, you're going to do what you want, but it often comes because you've learned, you know, that, you know, constantly trying to please others, constantly live for others, it, it just got screwed. And a king too implies this is also Gemini. If you're not older, it's a past first Saturn return. You're someone that other people around you would say, yes, they're a very solid, very mature uh, person here, Gem you, Gemini. Yeah, let's see where you're at. The Klimt Art deck it always blows my mind. Look at this, man. The Six of Cups. So evocative. Now remember, you, your King of Swords, is looking right at this card. And, and I, I got to show you together through verse so you see uh, how he's looking. He's looking right, right at that. And the way the King is looking at it, it's like, wow. That's connecting the Six of Cups here emotionally. For a King of Swords, the rap could be not emotional. This is the King of Swords. Now I'm thinking Scorpio, New Moon. You know, it's the, just happened. It's still on us, that energy. Maybe this uh, really connected with emotional depth. And in a beautiful way. We a lot of times thinking, oh, it's scary. No, this is just a beautiful, loving feeling they had. Uh, maybe in terms of also, Gemini, you had a connection that could easily manifest in a connection with what? 
an ex with whom you feel very warm about uh, or a person coming in with soulmate energy who you instantly feel a connection with <coughs> excuse me so I just love this you know he's looking right down at this uh, person here in such a dreamy way an accepting way and my god in ending with the emperor what a powerful read for you Gemini um, this is the future so I think this is about the new moon I think something's happening it's emotional and you're going to end up looking back on it not long maybe now already just immediately you're going to feel it and see it and you're, it's going to make you so much stronger Gemini like if people thought you were kind of strong, you kind of like you had your shit together that when they think of you, it's like now it's going to take it to a whole new level and, and you're going to feel really in control and, and complete and strong. So I love that reading uh, for you guys, Gemini, thank you. And um, moving along, Cancers. Uh, I should say also, Tuesdays are always G uh, Gemini and Cancer Day here, Dave Sky Tarot. So, um, this is the Soul Family Read. That's for the 5th, 6th, and 7th weekend read, we'll call it, of November. And here, reading for spirituality, manifestation, love and relationships, always on my mind. Also, on Fridays is always... Uh, Sag and Cap Day for we'll have the heart spread who's on your mind and the singles meet the soulmate which describes your soulmate singles is always positive read this reading today we're going sign by sign now you Leo where are you at pulling three cards here for you guys wow and we're using the Klimp Dart deck it's a little different and it's very evocative it takes me a minute because uh, I really have to absorb a lot here. So wreath here, laurels, ace of swords, laurels. Now, this is your energy, I think, too, in and around relationships, uh, in and around love, spirituality, in terms of if you're manifesting. To me, this feels like someone could be a manifester here. Um, and that sword is holding up the laurels. And... You know, it's kind of like asserting, like uh, uh, cancers, if, if you're manifesting, it's like the way you're manifesting is you're saying, it belongs to me, it is already mine, I will take it now. With this amazing, like, assertiveness. Like, it's not even like, I'm good enough, and I'm strong enough, and everyone likes me. It's like, no, give it to me, it's mine. God damn it, I'm not playing around. Right, otherwise... It's a very assertive energy. Could be around first house energy in your natal chart, transit, something going on too in your progressed uh, chart. Because this uh, it's personal energy, it's very personal. It's ace. It's like uh, you're starting something. You could be starting a cycle. You could create creating boundaries, creating you know um, your truth, saying your truth, not being afraid. You know to come out and just say like, this is it. This is how I feel. You know, they say it's always right to say how we feel, right? No. The devil, and this is where you're at right now. I have to look at this a minute because Clint Dart deck, friends. Uh, it's like, uh, okay, so you have to kind of look at that. How does that make you feel? This is where you're at now. I got to tell you, uh, I, this is kind of how I feel this. Um, I'm not going to get into reading the bottom of the deck for these three card reads, but... You know, uh, I, I got to tell you, I see light and dark here. I see good and evil here. I see uh, you, Cancer, trying to assert yourself spiritually in this very powerful way. But you are cutting away through a quagmire of darkness and still, like, this is maybe a light, too. And you're waving it around as bright light, and it's lighting up this uh, dark night of the soul. That's still kind of ongoing. Seems like a battle here too. I gotta say, like good against evil here, within yourself, within yourself, you know. 
wanting to get mastery over this very powerful energy. It's the same energy that gives you the balls to say to the universe, fuck you, it's mine, give it to me, god damn it. That's the devil. So it's like mastering the beast, that's all, you know? Taming the demons. So we want the demons to work for us, not against us. Hmm. Five of Pentacles, future. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it's all about for you, Cancer. This is about manifestation spirituality today with the weekend read. It's going to be very difficult for you. It's an ongoing process to deal with this. It might be a period of time, like a half a year, five months. Um, and you're kind of, the whole time, it's like you're really having a hard time with it. There's uh, material issues around, you know, money, abundance, uh, lack thereof, uh, even feeling not adequate to the task. And it's not lack mentality. It's like not, and this is, look, you're coming in saying, fuck you to the universe. And out of it, you know, you're feeling here um, like it's still not enough, you know. Um, so, um, let me pull a clarifier on that still not enough here. And we get the eight of pentacles. <laughs> it's just going to take more work. I'm telling you, I've got a half a year, five to eight months. Um, and this is really going to be hard one is what this is, personal energy now. It's like you're saying this to the universe, you're doing the right thing, you're trying to deal, but this is work. This is like really hard work, actually doing something, concrete things. Um, it may tax your resources. It could end up taxing your energy. But the outcome here is balance. It's like a this is what you want is balance. Like you're saying, you know what, universe, I'm not asking for the fucking world. I just want to be able to live and be balanced, guys. So, thank you, Cancers. And Leos, welcome to the jungle. Um, this is the new casa in the urban jungle, Cancun. Soul Family Read, reading through the deck this morning. And uh, doing Leo. Leo is Wednesday, by the way, here. Always Wednesday is Leo and Virgo Day. For the heart spread, who's on your mind, and the singles read, meet the soul mate. But today, uh, doing the weekend, 5th, 6th, and 7th, for the soul tribe, and reading through with each sign. I'll put a little energy on these for you guys. Let's see what we get. Kind of getting a, still the, you know, the new moon is strong. It's 12 degrees. Scorpio is on my Venus just yesterday. This is the 5th now I'm doing this reading. And, um... That seems to be coming through a lot. Okay. Let's see what we got. Leo's, where are we? High Priestess. Wow, okay. Congratulations. So, love and romance and manifestation spirituality. Um, you're riding in that spectrum of manifestation and spirituality on your own here. Past position, how you are where you're at in terms of, you know, manifestation, spirituality. Um, you would be someone that's very much in sync. And thank you for watching, you know, uh, and let me know. Please communicate. I wouldn't mind um, what you get from this and everything. Um, you know, uh, someone like this and this kind of energy, Leo, uh, you could be, you know, uh, someone that uh, uh, operates in the eighth house somehow you know uh, with manifestation definitely but anything from magic or you know uh, anything like that you know and now the Hierophant wow bringing in Taurus energy very strong and fixed in um, two major arcana here this definitely to me I mean let's just look at these together okay the high priestess in the Hierophant I mean, that's like a spiritual couple, but if this is about you, this is the alignment, uh, yin, yang, male, female, masculine, feminine, divine energy, really being at one, really being united within yourself, you know, um, and it starts with the high priestess, 
So also to me, this is uh, in astrology, this is the Neptune energy is the high priestess. The Hierophant is Saturn. Give unto Saturn, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And give unto God what is God, that's the high priestess. So spiritually and personally, I think, you know, especially like you look at evolutionary astrology and big picture, someone again of some age, you didn't get like this overnight, at least past your first Saturn return. Um, and reaching some point in your life, being like really a balance, Leo, and whole um, here. Let's see what we get for the outcome. Justice. High Priestess, the Hierophant, and Justice Leo. This is your reading for the weekend of the 5th through the 7th. And justice will be served. I mean, you're operating, there's going to be something in your star. You're operating under strong planetary outer planet transits, you know. Um, but you you started all by sinking yourself with your soul's path, trusting your intuition, becoming, not even trusting it, becoming your intuition. And with the hair fine, you know, maybe a working, you know, psychic or something, you know. Um, energy worker, healer, however it works with something the high priestess, divine feminine, receptive energy, more along the lines of a medium or psychic or something. But thank you guys for joining me, Leo. So, uh, Virgos, welcome. We're going to do now your um, individual reading. This is for the weekend of the 5th and the 6th um, and the 7th of November here, first weekend in November. Soul family read. I'm just pulling through with a little three card past, present, future read for everyone's by sign. So, should be quick here for you guys. Um, where we are picking up a lot of the new moon energy. It's only the fifth now. And uh, check out yesterday's Soul Family read, would you? And um, also, always on Fridays is Sag and Cap Day. Do the heart spread, who's on your mind. Do the singles, meet the soulmate. Um, let's see what we got now for our soul family Virgos soul family Virgos and we have the five of cups wow so no beating around the bush you're sad this uh, this weekend like you go into this weekend just kind of being sad um, let's see what we got here guys the high priestess okay right now this sadness is leading you deeply into your emotions and your intuition. So my advice, Virgo, this is good advice. I think you, this is very important right now with the high priestess here. Go into this sadness. Go, don't go away from it. Don't avoid it. Just go into it. Go dead into it. Like if you need to get sad movies going and songs, and a box of tissues, just, it would, I mean, really dive in. This is the full moon. This is the new moon, the Scorpio energy at 12 Scorpio. And no matter where it's at, this is what I feel is hitting you. But in this new moon energy, in Scorpio, down in the depths there is a treasure that is our higher self, our spiritual soul path, alignment with our soul path. This is intuition trust your intuition right now if this doesn't resonate click if it does hang in there check out some of the other soul family reads i put them up by day but it's a process any one of those reads is valid at any time here we're going to have the eight of ones as an outcome i love this look guys this is a promise this is like okay I'm going to throw out the mem again of Bernie Sanders going uh, in his jacket in New Hampshire, bundled up, real old looking. And he says, here I go again, diving into my shadow work. God damn it, man, it never ends. But there's going to be a hell of a payoff out of this. There's something energetically you need to do, Virgo. And when you do it, you're going to come out of this, you know, probably by sad season in another month or three weeks even. And you're going to be on fire, and you're going to have all the energy. You're going to be back to your old self and beyond. Basically, with the Eight of Wands, I think you might, uh, you could do anything, really. You'd be traveling, creating something. 
designing, building something, uh, or just like rocking it, just absolutely fucking rocking it, Virgo. It's like Sagittarius fucking energy, you know. All right, thank you guys. Um, now um, we're gonna have Libra friends. Um, this is Soul Family read. We're doing the weekend read fifth, sixth, and seventh of November. Reading through the deck for my Soul Family here. Getting an individual three card past, present, and future read. Um, do check out some of the other Soul Family reads. This resonates. I put them up. They're daily reads, but they're timeless reads. And just all part of this process that I'm on, you know. Um, so here, we focus on you. See what we got. We're thinking more along the lines of manifestation, spirituality here, guys. Thank you for joining me in my urban studio here in the beautiful jungles of Cancun, Mexico. Six of Cups. Wow. So you're, I don't want to say lost, but yeah, you're lost. You're full of, you're filled with this nostalgic energy of the soulmate here, Libra. And I love that. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> I gotta have a little coffee. It's an addiction. Let's see. And we have the six of wands. Wow. So I get the feeling with this, I'm trying to talk about manifestation and spirituality. Um... I, I see you manifesting a, a fire sign here, guys, um, person, or, or this feeling that you have of nostalgia and the Six of Cups, it's also a really good feeling, you know, so when we're in this feeling, I think, you know, we're really presenting the best energy to the universe because we're in the feeling of, like, everything's okay, everything's bound, like, oh, good, thanks, you know, everything's cool, and from that, you you would think like good things happen um, and you know here she's holding a wreath you have accolades being rewarded you know it could be karmically just being rewarded and if there was anything about a relationship this six of cups here strongly could be a feeling of a soul made around you with you um, and this would be if there's any doubt, then they're, they're there and they're very much into you. We have a six and a six here. Um, there's an alignment, there's a draw, there's a connection, and it screams soulmate, okay? And the outcome, and we have the Knight of Wands riding a magnificent steed. This is the Klimt Art Tech, guys. So Libra, outcome here, you guys uh, taking action here. And this is a, more like Aries energy, so the opposite. And so I get the feeling um, you may have a, particularly Libra, if you happen to have a fire sign uh, on your, in your seventh house, a fire house, in, or a fire uh, sign ruling your seventh house. Um, that might be the sign that's coming at you, but I got the feeling this is someone coming at you, you know, um, and so really if you're manifesting, you're going to manifest this fire sign that's going to come in in a very bold fire way, like very directly, very honestly, with a lot of passion, um, they're going to come to you, this is like a moss to the flame, you know, they're coming, they're coming, here they come. Libras, thank you guys. All right. And Scorpio friends, welcome. This is the Urban uh, Jungle Studio. Uh, uh, there's Guy Darrow now <laughs> uh, doing the uh, Soul Family Read. This is for the 5th, 6th, and 7th of November. And it's rolling through uh, the tarot and or through the zodiac. And we're doing Scorpio now. Do a three card pull for this weekend's energy. This is more around. Uh, trying to make it more around manifestation and spirituality, but I, I am primarily a love relationship channel, um, so it, it always can uh, creep in, guys, kind of do, kind of do. So also, it's Fridays, that's Sag and Cap Day here, where you do the heart spread for whoever's uh, on your mind, and the singles read to meet the one that's right for you, read. Um, and uh, let's see what we've got now. For Scorpios, that's uh, your day's Thursday, Libra Scorpio day, here, 
yesterday, so your mid-Novembers are up if you're interested in those for you guys. Let's see what we got for you for this weekend, Scorpios. You're coming in with the Nine of Swords, so what's going on, guys? Let's see. It's rough energy. I mean, boy, look at this. The Klempt Art Deck. Pretty evocative. So I always say the singles reading is never a triggery reading. It's kind of triggery as fuck right now, so it's not your, uh, uh, don't resonate, click, I get it. Because, uh, yeah, this is someone you'd be feeling kind of tormented right now. And I'm thinking of this Scorpio uh, new moon, 12 degrees. Maybe I'm Scorpio Venus right on my Venus. You know, it's been intense, I'll say that. And here you have the Page of Pentacles. So, right now, I think you're really trying to get stability. You might be looking to this reading for that. Get a clarification on that. Yeah, okay, there's hope. <laughs> I'm just getting a clarification on that. Are you are you looking towards this reading? You're trying to get stability here right now. With this energy, you know, uh, it's really hard, but you're trying to get stability. You're doing everything right. You're doing the right thing, whatever needs to be done. And, you know, I'm clarifying that. So what can Spirit tell us? Because I know you're trying to get to help you get stability. Aquarius, Jupiter's there, Saturn's there too. Um, look at this in your chart um, where this energy is. But this is hopes, dreams, wishes. It's like uh, I think out of the out of this uh, deep dive here with Scorpio Moon into whatever kind of shadow darkness there is, you know, with the star, uh, it's corny, but comes uh, really manifestation of what you really want and what you real you know hopes is often tied up to fears, right? Uh, it's that way. Um, so this is pushing, going through the fears, going through them, through them, and into the hope, dreams, and wishes on the other side of the fears, guys. And here you have the hanging man. Wow. So you come out of this, and the hangman, remember, puts themselves into this position uh, here, Scorpios. So... To do this, out of this, you're going to be very brave, and you're going to put yourself into this hangman position, and you're going to take a little break, and you're going to really look, and it, the hangman's looking back at this, but remember, on the other side of this is your hopes and dreams and wishes, so what the hangman is going to do, it's going to be a period in a very new future, maybe this very weekend, you know, this is just the future, you could start doing this now, is really look at things from a new perspective, that is given to you by the emotional turmoil, perhaps, of this new moon energy in Scorpio, guys. So it's kind of like hang in there. It's the cavalry's coming, energetic cavalry, guys, which is uh, going to be you, you know, changing the way you look at things, really. The hanged man. All right, Sagittarius. I can say that because I'm a Sagittarius, Sun, Jupiter, Mars, and Mercury. This soul family read. Pulling through the, the zodiac here. We're doing Sag now. It's for the 5th, 6th, and 7th of uh, November. Weekend in November. The soul family, whoever resonates. Go back, check some of the other readings. They're daily readings, but they're really timeless readings that just describe kind of a process for me. Spiritual process, I hope. Thank you, coffee. All right, Sagittarius, where are we now? Seven of Cups energy. This is the energy of anything is possible. Neptune energy. Where is it? Like 20 degrees of Pisces storming, <laughs> storming, uh, stealthing its way through my seventh house and sneaking the. Uh, and Neptune, like, they don't have a way of controlling everything, but you don't realize it. That's like, it, like it hypnotizes you, you know. Saturn, you get it. You're like, oh shit, that's a Saturn thing. God forbid, Pluto, you get it, right? Uranus, you get it. Neptune sneaks up on you. That's Neptune influence. Feeling a little hazy. Look at this with the moon, guys. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So, Sagittarius, Seven of Cups now with the moon. So Seven of Cups is us, personal energy, minor arcana. Um, it's 
feeling kind of dreamy, a feeling like there's a lot of options. It can be emotional confusion, a little bit of emotional turmoil. This new moon energy, guys, is on us. Today's the fifth. It was yesterday. Look at yesterday's whole family read. Check it out. We go into the moon card. Coincidence? No, there are no coincidences, like Gibbs says, in a crime scene investigation or a tarot reading. So this is speaking to uh, something not being clear, something we need to find out, something we need to see with this moon card here. Now, let me ask Spirit, uh, let this third card here be an answer, like a clarification of these two cards here. So I'll shuffle a little bit, put that energy on it. Because we really, there's something that really, okay, guys, uh, this could be a really helpful reading because this is the kind of thing you you might not see this in a million years. It's in some blind spot, some spiritual, special blind spot. Guys, and my sagis, you know, hey, promote this reading too, anywhere you think that it might be appropriate. And um, this is Sag and Cap Day, so we'll get up also the heart spread for you guys and the singles read today. Let's see what we got. The Eight of Swords. Jeez, guys. So the answer is, this is something mental. Very strongly, the answer is, this is something mental. I'm not done yet. We're trying to move this quick to three minute reads. But let's see what's not, what it is, what it is mentally. The wheel. Okay. The wheel of fortune, which is Jupiter. Now at, I think 23 degrees Aquarius. Uh, this is a Sag reading. Uh, I got a lot of faith in how the things are going to go with Jupiter now going direct as it starts to build up steam. And it's going to be moving into Pisces next year. I mean, it's, it's going to be uh, doing some amazing things that I think are all positive. Um, and I feel like this is the energy of uh, wanting something to happen, feeling like it's going to happen, but it's not happening, you know. Um, it, it could definitely be a feeling of manifestation, like, um, you know, you, you feel the wheel is turning, you feel it's, it's coming, uh, but then it doesn't come, and it's that... 3D, 5D, I call it the astral train. So my Facebook uh, writings have about the astral train. Uh, some of us, you know, we know the train has left the station in the astral world. So it's like it's coming, it's done, it's over. Like if you want a great job and you don't have one, it's coming, it's already done. It just isn't in the 3D yet. If you want a great love, you already have it. It's already on the astral train or coming your way. Their bags are packed. It just, in our time, it can be so fuzzy as to when exactly they come. Uh, here, we're asking about the weekend of the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th of November. So this is no doubt about this uh, Scorpio uh, new moon, guys. Um... And I think uh, the only answer I can give here that might be helpful is, uh, you know, uh, Sagittarius, a temperance card, uh, patience, um, patience, you know, temperance, guys, all right, thank you. Capricorns, thanks for joining me. We're doing your uh, individual read here. This is a Soul Family Weekend read for the 5th, 6th, and 7th. And here's one to read you guys individually. Do a three card past, present, and future read for this weekend. Now I'm picking up the new moon a lot, 12 degrees Scorpio. So we'll see. It's uh, more about spirituality and manifestation. Love may raise its ugly head. I am Love and Romance channel. Today, by the way, we do Sag and Caps. So. Uh, your readings, uh, Capricorns, will be up today for the heart spread, who's on your mind, and um, meet the soulmate, that's for when you're completely single. Now, where are you at? Let's see, Ten of Swords, good, you're done with something, put a fork in you, that's what this is saying, guys. Um, Capricorns, 
let's see what we get here now. Um, the Four of Wands. Okay, so I think that if capturing you right at the process where you're finishing a cycle that was probably tough and now you're coming into this stability like right now you'd be feeling it this weekend look at how beautiful i should say it's a clint dark deck so really a beautiful card here um and i hopefully this is true let me know this is one we definitely make a comment um uh, it could be this new moon you know it's not always bad or even difficult or whatever um, it's having a great effect on you here um, and this could even be bringing in a union with it I mean you know the four of wands can be the creation of a long-term stable relationship or marriage uh, or you know the abundance within yourself and union within yourself and here you have the knight of wands as the outcome card um, and so I see maybe this very weekend it's only in the future position it's a little reading um, you're going to go like from 0 to 100 like that. That's what this is, Capricorn. So congratulations. You know, I, you must have paid your dues. Um, you know, there's some large cycle here with the Ten of Swords. Uh, but this moon, exactly what it would do, this new moon, it's like, um, here we go. It's emotionally getting into it. And you can decide to cut it out. And it's a wrap. Aquarius, thank you for joining me. Uh, soul family reads for the fifth sixth and seventh here for whoever resonates normally but today i'm going to do a reading by sign three cards past present and future we're looking at spirituality and manifestation primarily even though uh this is a love and relationship channel may love could rear its ugly head at any time but we try to look at ourselves here guys and um we do have the heart spread, and tomorrow will be Aquarius and Pisces with the heart spread for mid-November, and uh, the singles read meet soulmate. Right now, this is where you're at, guys. You're at the page of wands, so I like this for you. So this is the weekend. I mean, honestly, this could be you going out, you feeling good. If you're young, great. If you're not, you're kind of feeling young. Got a pep, you know, pep in your step here. Um, and um, you could be starting something too. Say it's not necessarily love reading, but you know, to, with the with the uh, new moon on us, uh, come out of it with this energy is great. It's like uh, you're you're uh, being um, very much energized uh, by what's happening now. What's going on right now? The devil. There's the Scorpio energy coming in of this new moon of going inside. Um, I don't think you're having too bad a time of it, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, uh, it could range from uh, hedonism to just uh, deeply exploring your own sexuality and nothing being wrong with it. This could be a young person or, like I say, a young energy. You know, I had this at the age of 47. It was amazing. We both said, God, I feel like we're kind of a teenager having sex again. Um, so something like this and very uh, strong, too, here. This devil is very interesting and Clint Dart deck here, guys. Um, so I don't necessarily think devil has to be a bad thing. Obsession can come with that. Addiction is definitely um, something that's very much drawing you in right now. And let's see what your outcome is. Is manifestation. Got the star card here, guys. I told you it's nothing bad. It's like I think this is kind of like uh, you're discovering yourself again. If you're a little bit older, if not, you're just discovering yourself and you're liking it. And you're like, hey, now, uh, it's great to be alive. It's great to be a man, great to be a woman. Um, I'm really, and you're really embracing life. And this brings the manifestation of your hopes and dreams and wishes because it's actually a very positive uh, feeling. I mean, as long as everyone's adults, you know what I mean? And it's like, uh, this is a life. This is life pulsing up through you. And uh, really, uh, with this uh, wand, navel wand energy, just really getting it guys <laughs> as a Sagittarius respect uh, Aquarius I dig it okay thank you guys um, Pisces thanks for joining me this is the soul family read uh, here uh, in the uh, studios in the urban jungle and uh, Cancun Mexico <laughs> um, 
And uh, normally it's for whoever resonates, but today I'm pulling by sign for this weekend, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Today is uh, Friday, so that's Sag and Cap Day. Tomorrow will be, um, I'll finish the Zodiac each week with uh, Aqua and Pisces, and we'll have the heart spread for who's on your mind. And the singles read, meet the soulmate. Right now, I just want to get a bead on where my Pisces soul family members are. Please comment, let me know what you think of this. Helps the channel a lot, just comment. Tell me what you think. There's not, not too many people watching. It's almost like a private conversation. It's okay. Um, we just we learn as sad. You just release the arrow, and then after that, uh, your part's done. <laughs> All right. What do we got for Pisces here? Our soul family, Pisces. All right. Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. And what if this is the Clint Dart deck, by the way? A little different. So rolling through it today. Always. Uh, Last, never least, Pisces. Well, this is a great energy to be in. Um, happy, emotionally um, fulfilled. Um, let's see where we're at. We're looking at, uh, hear more about manifestation spirituality. And here you have the Page of Pentacles. Wow. I think this is feeling like you want to make a commitment to something or someone. Um, you have this feeling, I think, with the Ten of Cups, um, and it's kind of maybe you've had it for a while, and it's feeling really good emotionally, you know, uh, and you want to make some kind of commitment, want to move into it, take some kind of action upon uh, this feeling. Um, it really, truly could be work or um, uh, relationship. It's kind of that Venus uh, energy of what we love. You look, he's treasuring this pinnacle here. Um, this could be putting your money, time, resources into something, you know. Uh, this is tangible here, uh, Pisces. Um, or into a person here. It's also a very sincere energy. It's a thoughtful energy. It's like you've thought about this and thought it through. And this is uh, showing up in a very solid way. And the Four of Pentacles is your outcome. Okay. This is the near future. This could be this very weekend here, Pisces. Now, this is the Klimt Dark deck. Check out this Four of Pentacles. Let's see how does that make you feel. But I think this is all about stability, this, this Four of Pentacles. And look at the very frank look that this woman has. You know? So, it's taking this very emotional energy and... The Knave of Pentacles, think you in a very personal way, uh, making it a part of your life, and coming out of it in a very stable way. So it would be uh, literally either taking a partner into your life and having it work for you in a very stable way, or a new position or work or commitment that you make uh, that, again, works for you in a very stable way. And it leaves you in this Ten of Cups energy, you know. I, I look at it as like, I don't want anything to disturb my peace, right? Um, so you don't want anything to disturb this peace. And it doesn't look like it will. Choosing carefully, too, comes to mind. So, lucky employer, lucky person that uh, is the object of your choice, Pisces. Thank you, guys.